Oh, well, there we go. It's all painted. Thanks for watching. No, but uh, <laughs> we're going around right now and just giving it a quick uh, 320 wet sand. Just by hand, we got some, uh, we got a little foam block. And we're using a little flexi guy for the edges and the, the bends and stuff. And then we got my favorite plexiglass block for the big flat sections. If you guys want to learn more about these, leave a comment below and we'll uh, do a video just on plexiglass sanding blocks. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing all in 320. Um, because we got like some spots like, did we have pictures of it? There's like spots around the door jam, like down in here that have like some bare metal showing and stuff. Um, that, and also I kind of just want to prep this whole thing out in 320. Um, so we're probably going to shoot just like a full coat of just regular full strength epoxy on the whole thing, not reduced at all. Um, after this is 320, and then I'll go ahead and start spraying some paint. Because all this stuff is just getting a single step of primer and we just want to do a single step of sanding, we're going over with a uh, 320 grit wet and everything got a real nice heavy coat of the dry guide coat, which is that black powder that you see all over the surface. We're just giving it all a quick uh, 320 wet sand to just knock down any of the imperfections in the primer, get rid of any of the texture in the primer, and then also help to level out any of the transitions where you can kind of see like between the body filler areas and like where we had to feather out into the old paint and the new paint and stuff like that. It just helps cut all that stuff level. 320 is a real good grip for this because we are gonna do a full strength coat of epoxy primer before this gets single stage. So 320 will be just the right amount of coarseness but not going too fine to the point where it's not really gonna cut it flat. Here we are, finally in the booth, thank God. This thing wound up uh, being a lot more than we were anticipating. The, um, these rocker panels down here, you can see we got them all stripped down to bare metal. And then I actually stripped the whole uh, pinch weld on both sides all the way down. There was some uh, surface rust kind of starting on that stuff, so I went ahead and just attacked it like crazy. We de ate it with the 150. I hit it with the uh, bristle discs and then I wire wheeled it and then I de ate it again. Uh, same deal with this stuff up here along this um, little pinch weld behind the glass. I'm pretty sure that the seal on this was bad and there's probably water getting back in underneath here and that's what's causing it to get some surface rust. So we're going to go ahead and cavity wax that and cavity wax down here really good after everything's sprayed just to be sure that nothing starts popping back up. But everything is in uh, 320, uh, red scotch pad and stuff. Uh, I'm going to go through right now and we're going to do a single coat of unreduced epoxy primer on everything. I'm going to let that sit for about 24 hours and then I'm going to come back tomorrow and we're just gonna shoot the single stage straight over it. No sanding because epoxy.
So we got one good coat of epoxy primer on everything, uh, just to kind of lock it down. We had a couple little cut throughs and stuff here and there, some little bare metal showing. So I wanted to make sure we got some epoxy on that before we put the paint down. Uh, this sat overnight at 80 degrees in here with the heaters on um, to help cure up the epoxy real nice. And then this morning I went around with these little uh, flexible sheets, a 600 grit. Uh, and I just kind of ran it lightly over all the surfaces that are like really important, the cab corners, the roof, the fenders. Um, I left the jams and everything alone. And that's just to knock down any little bit of texture that might have built up on the surface. And then also to get rid of any dust nibs or anything that landed in the sealer. So we just have a real nice smooth foundation to start the paint on. So this is getting a uh, single stage paint versus a base coat clear coat. Uh, essentially that just means that for lack of like a longer, more drawn out explanation, the uh, color is in the clear coat. It's all in one. Um, this paint's a little bit more scratch and chip resistant. Um, so for what Charlie's using it for, which might be, you know, off-roading, hunting stuff, towing, all that, um, this is going to be a lot more ideal than having a base clear on there where it's a little softer. Um, this should hold up to a lot more abuse and stuff. Um, and yeah, it's a lot funner to spray too. It's less steps. We love that. This thing came out nice. So we got the bay kind of sprayed uh, how Sarah asked. She wanted the sides and the top and everything, um, you know, real covered like OEM. And then in the back there, um, just kind of let the overspray dust down into the back of the firewall. So it looked just kind of, you know, OEM-y. Uh, nothing too crazy, just cover over all the white so it didn't look, you know, like it was ever white at one point in time. Um, jams and everything came out real nice and slick, and cab corners. Look at that. Let me get that close up for you guys. Paint never looks as good as the day it came out of the gun. But yeah, I'm real excited on how this thing came out. Uh, we've got doors and a hood and some hinges left to shoot for it. 
Um, but when you guys uh, get to see it all together, it's gonna be super sick, right? It's gonna have all the panels on it and looking real nice and shiny. And I'm curious to see how that flatbed that they uh, made for it comes out. It should be pretty cool. But if you guys enjoyed the paint video, let us know down below, right? Uh, try to make the paint videos for you guys. I'm always so busy though that it's a little bit hard to take the time out of the day to pick up the camera and do this stuff. But if you guys like the paint videos, let us know. Make sure you subscribe, right? And tell your buds to uh, come follow us. We're the best channel on YouTube.